Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Okay, through my chronic exhaustion, I'm going to try and do this video. I'll try not to collapse halfway through, but I don't know why I'm always so tired. I get at least 10 hours each night, but it's not enough. I just don't seem to be able to recharge. Anyway, I'm going to finish up the LED lights on the TV repair. So as you know, I didn't have enough strips to do this one at the top and this one here at the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to sort out this wiring here because it's left a bit of a dark patch where, those, where these wires are. So I'm going to sort that out. I think the first thing to do is get all these CCFLs out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. Try to get those out without breaking them, and I can put the other um, LED strips in. I've got some more now, so I can do that. So uh, I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to try and get these side pieces off. I don't even know how I put these back on. I think it's this winter weather that's doing this to me. Making me so exhausted. I'm usually quite perky during the summer. So maybe I can move to somewhere where there is no winter. Something like Florida, Australia. Somewhere where they just don't have winter. I've been to Florida. I went to Disney World. Back when I was about 12. Okay, well, I've got those off. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to get these, um, these CCFLs out because they're sort of sold in. I can push them out from this side. I'm just pushing on these little knobs on the back. Uh, come on out this side. Don't want to break any because there's mercury in there. Just unclipping them from the little clips here that are just breaking off as soon as I do so much as breathe on them. Yeah, that's oh. Yeah, that's so I'm not loose on that side, but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get this side out. Just... Ease up. I don't really want to break these, like I said. Because of mercury. This can bend quite a bit, though. So I can't unclip these, though. Because they're sort of like soldered in under the thing. I'm going to try to get these out. Hopefully I won't break any of them. I might be even be able to reuse these in something. But yeah, that came out more easier than I thought it would. None of them broken, so no mercury leaking out. So I think it's better to, I mean, back to doing this. Well, okay, here's all the lights wired in. Did make a little bit of a fudge up here, but I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. So on this side, we've got all the positives, all wired up. And on the other side, it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm just putting this back together now. Question is, do these bits go in first? Or these bits? I have absolutely no idea. So I'm just going to have to try to put this back together and see if it works. Although I think it would be a good idea to test that all these lights are working before I put the thing back together, so let's just give it a little test. Jeez, that's bright. But yeah, that's working. Although it is pulling a whopping 1.7 amps from the power supply, so that's probably pulling the voltage down a bit since that power supply is rated for 800 milliamps. Well, while trying to puzzle out on just how to get this thing back together properly, started to run the light and it really doesn't look too bad. 
You can very slightly see where each strip of light is, but I don't really think that's going to affect the picture quality too much when we've got the screen on there. And there's a couple of dark spots here, and that camera's really exaggerating those, so don't really look like that in real life. Yes, but the only trouble is how to get this thing back together. If I could just figure out that... Okay, we have a little bit of a problem. Every time I put this back together, the light doesn't work. So I suspect we have a short circuit somewhere, so let's just... And here we do. The meter's reading about 9 ohms. So, somehow, somehow, something in here is getting short-circuited every single time I put the whole thing together, so I've got to take this whole thing apart again, just to find this short circuit. Well, there's your problem. Let's just move this little wire out of the way. And you can see that something has been trying to punch a hole in the tape and also through the wire, shorting the two together. And that's something, now these little posts on the side piece here, so I've got to do something to take care of that. Okay, so this backlight is pretty much finished now. So all I've got to do now is repair, I mean, put in the LCD panel. And I've got to remember which way around to put it. Fortunately, it's not going to be too difficult to figure out which way around it goes. So this is the back of the LCD panel. It's got this circuit board here, which gets held in place by all these screws along here. So it's going to be relatively easy to get this oriented right. Although I have been holding this off till the last minute because, well, these things are so delicate, you only have to breathe on them hard enough and they break. Also, I want to be extra careful of not ripping any of these connections here. So, I think it's about time to get this out. And it should just slide into place in front of the backlight. Okay, miraculously, without a tripod, I've got the camera mounted good. So here we are, one LCD panel, hold the onions. I don't know what this is on the side. It's a little tab. Which doesn't appear to be connected to anything. Right. Let's turn this the right way around. And hopefully it won't just slot in place. Make sure that circuit board doesn't get in the way of anything. And oh yeah, the perfect fit. Alright, so let's see if this panel survived. This is the moment of truth. I'm going to plug in the backlight, see if any cracks appear. And absolutely no. Well, okay, that backlight is a little bit bright, but there's no cracks showing up. Although this screen does need a damn good clean. Yep, we will be back momentarily. Well, here's the screen reassembled. Haven't cracked the LCD panel, so that's good. Just going to need to make the backlight a little less strong, and we'll be good. Because right now this screen is supposed to be black, and that backlight's shining right through it. Shouldn't be too difficult. I could do PWM or linear control. In fact, I've got a bunch of triple five timers. I could use those and come up with a PWM circuit, but that's all going to be in another video. So, just reattaching the little interface circuit. And here we are, one completely reassembled LCD TV screen. Yeah, I know this is a little bit of a how are you doing kind of way to connect the power to the backlights, but... Eh, no one's going to see that, apart from in this video. So that's just going back against the wall, with the LCD panel facing the wall so it doesn't get damaged. And now it's awaiting for its universal LCD driver board. And hopefully Banggood will not, or Royal Mail or whoever did it last time, won't smash up my package. And hopefully Adobe Premiere is going to export the whole video this time, and not cut it short. So, until next time, goodbye. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider giving me a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. 
and leave a comment if you have one. And as always, until next time, goodbye.